Okay, so we're in this uh, teeny little tight cramped uh, excavator cabin right now and I want to show you how I'm operating the excavator. So uh, when I first got this thing, I had a little bit of an idea of how to do it because I, I, uh, I operate a forklift on a day-to-day -day basis and um, I've also watched Ted um, operate his backhoe loader a whole ton. So I know like all the operations of the bucket and the, and the boom and all that. I just needed to figure out the controls. So I did, and I want to show you how to do it. So uh, if you look out there, you can see my, uh, my boom and my bucket. And if I do this, you can see I can move it around. So I'm moving that using these two joysticks right here. Um, so I got this joystick, and I got this joystick. Uh, let me turn up the engine a little bit here. Um, we got this little control board where basically the only things that I need to worry about are general operation and I guess high operation. This is like uh, heavy duty. And this is like uh, track speed, how fast I move. And uh, this is, I always have this on strong lifting. I guess that's strong lifting for the boom because um, um, I'm always lifting heavy stuff. And then there's this little switch down at the bottom there that uh, I have to flip up um, when I need when I'm using the blade to uh, to plow uh, plow dirt. So first things first. Okay, my engine is up and I'm on general operation. I'm going to turn that on to high operation because I am digging right now, and that's a strenuous task for the machine, especially because I'm digging through tons of rocks. This part of the property is littered with rocks, uh, so it's going to be a little bumpy. So. Let's get started. So the first thing is this joystick right here. When I pull back, the boom goes up, as you can see. And when I push it forward, the boom goes down. When I go to the left, the bucket goes up. When I go to the right, the bucket goes goes down. And this is obviously for your dump operation, and this is for your when you're uh, shoveling right there when it's going up. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the left joystick. Uh, the right joystick. When I go to the right, let me bring this up first. Okay, when I go to the right the whole machine turns to the right. And I'm pivoting right now on the tracks. The tracks aren't moving. When I go to the left, the whole machine turns to the left. And I can go around completely 360 degrees like this. It's really quite nice. Okay, so, next thing, I want you to show the controls again. Okay, so just to recap, we got the right joystick, when I go forward, the boom goes down. When I go back, the boom goes up. When I go left, the bucket comes up. When I go right, the bucket goes down. And then on the, uh, on the left joystick here, when I go to the right, the whole machine spins. When I go to the left, the whole machine spins in the opposite direction. Last thing left is the left joystick going forward and back. So, film the, the boom again. When, uh, when I push it forward, the arm like articulates. See that arm articulating right there? That's going back. Going forward, it articulates up. Going back, it articulates down. And just to, again, show the difference between what that is and what the right joystick is, when I go with the right joystick up, the entire arm goes up, and when I go with the right joystick down, the entire arm goes down. Okay. So now, so now all those operations, um, that's all the operations of the, uh, of the boom um, and the spinning. Uh, the only other thing is the track's moving and you just got these two pedals down the floor and that's uh, pretty obvious. Oh yeah, got a horn on the right joystick there. Uh, so, just using the operations I just showed you, I'm going to start digging. Now I'm going to be digging a hole to bury stumps in. Um, so, let's bring, bring in the, the 
bringing the boom back up all the way. Stay tight with the machine when I'm spinning around because it's, there's trees everywhere here. And if I don't come in, if I forget to do that, I will guarantee to hit a tree. Okay, oh, the other, uh, the other last thing is this little bar right here. What that does is it pushes the blade down and that gives me more stability when I'm, when I'm about to lift up a heavy load. Okay, so let's do it. Oops. So, okay, going down, pulling the bucket back, pulling the boom back, and so I got a little tree with that one. Okay, let's, let's get rid of this tree here. I'm gonna come down, grab that guy, put that off in the woods. Now what's really cool is that this is a powerful machine. It's a 35,000 pound excavator, and I can, I can like literally push trees over, and I can knock trees down, and I can pick them up and put them other places. It's pretty amazing. Like literally, I'm picking up uh, trees that probably weigh 10,000 pounds. It's no problem for this machine. Okay, so the reason I'm not digging in very nicely is because there's rocks everywhere. I like to bring the bucket back and forth to kind of dig it in. So what I'm doing, I'm using a combination. Uh, I'm using all the controls I just showed you. I'm, at the, I'm going down and turning the bucket at the same time. Closing the bucket and I'm pulling the, the boom back towards me. I'm articulating both the short arm and the long arm. To, to pull the boom back to to dig that dirt to shovel it into that bucket. You gotta be careful because with these rocks, it, the machine just gets pushed up, and if you don't finesse it and come down slowly, the machine will just crash down on the blade, and you don't want that. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You know, it takes a little time, but once you uh, once you get the hang of it. It literally, you don't think about these operations anymore, and you literally are like, you become a giant robot. And the machine is like an extension of your own, <laughs> becomes an extension of your own body. Okay, that's uh, that's how you operate an excavator. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little uh, little insight for when you uh, operate your own. As you've been seeing, I've been pushing trees over with this massive excavator, and which is totally freaking awesome. But I got a uh, what is this? Maybe a maybe a beach. Can't see from here.